Yes, people, Ricky here from Behind the Bars TV. Hope you're all fit and well. So I'm going to start talking about whole life sentences, which was formerly known as a whole life tariff. Um, so the whole life sentence was introduced in 1983, and it was kept for the most severe of crimes. The majority of people serving this sentence have killed at least two people. It's normally multiple people. Um, and the sentence was actually reserved for the most heinous of crimes. In total, there's been around about 100 people that has been given this sentence since 1983. Although at the moment, there's just over 70. Um, and that is due to the fact that some have either died, they've won their appeals, and they're no longer serving that sentence. But the majority of these people that are still serving the sentence, which is just over 70, when I researched it, I think I could find it was around about 71, still serving this sentence now. And out of the 70 odd, I could only find about, about 10 that I'll actually heard of. So a lot of these crimes and a lot of these people serving the sentence, the majority of you won't have heard of, because obviously I've never heard of them. Um, but the one that I'm going to talk about in this episode is Anthony Russell. And he's from Coventry. I think he's 39 year old and he's responsible for three murders. So his crime spree of these murders began in October 2020 and he's responsible for killing David Williams, his 58 year old mother, Julie Williams, and 31 year old Nicole McGregor. The Russell was living in Coventry when his crime spree began in October 2020 when he attacked a man and robbed him in his own house. He then went on to attack David Williams. He lured him into his house because he believed that he'd uh, been cheating on him and going with his girlfriend. In the house, he beat him and then strangled him to death. Four days later, the victim's mother, 58-year-old Julie Williams, was asking Russell if he would help look for her son because they lived in the same street. Obviously, she hadn't seen her son for four days, so she was worrying, wanting to know where he was at. So she had asked Russell if he would help look for him. Um, and he's ended up going into her house and she somehow must have cottoned on that he'd killed her son. So then what he's went and done, he's went on to beat her over the head five times with a hammer before strangling her to death. But when he'd killed her son, he actually stuffed him under his bed in the house and left him in there. Um, and obviously that's where he'd been for the four days when his mother was looking for him. But later on, he's went on to brag to somebody that he'd, um, he'd actually killed somebody for sleeping with his girlfriend, who'd informed the police. So when the police have went to his house, have searched his house, and they found the body under the bed. He then went on the run, and he's went on the run to Kenilworth, where he's then seen an old lady, 70-odd-year-old, battered her, dragged her down an alleyway, and pinched a handbag and took £200 off her. He's then went on the run to Leamington Spa, where he's met Nicole McGregor and her boyfriend, Christopher White, on the 26th of October. So Nicole and her boyfriend were living rough on the streets. They must have been drug users. They were homeless. They had nowhere to go. Uh, Russell's come along, met them, started talking to them. Some friends with them, and he's been walking around the city centre with them for three hours. And then Nicole's boyfriend's wandered off, and he's then took Nicole down to a wooded area. He must have been promising her money and drugs. And what he's done, he's getting her into the wooded area, um, out the view of everybody else, pinned her down, started beating her, stuffing branches and leaves in her mouth whilst raping her. Then he's raped her um, and strangled her to death. But Nicole was actually five months pregnant, leading up to her death when he was befriending them. Um, they were showing pictures of this baby on the phone, like the scan photos. And so whilst he's murdering her, he knows fine well that she's five months pregnant. But the next day after the murder, he's in the city centre walking around and he's bumping into Christopher White, who's actually looking for his girlfriend. He's worried sick. They're with each other every day, even though they're on the streets. Um, they're with each other every day. And obviously he's worried for her safety, not knowing where she's at. And Russell's actually went on and says... Oh, are you looking forward to the birth of your baby? Um, and he's helping her walk around the city centre, look for Nicole. 
But the next day, Nicole's body was found in the woodland. And when they've checked CCTV, they've seen Russell and Nicole walking away towards the woodland together. So a massive, the manhunt has actually been ramped up even more at this point, looking for Russell, who's actually now responsible for three murders and the murder of the unborn baby. He then went on to beat a 78-year-old man over the head with a brick, pinching his car, and then going on the run. A day later, on the 30th of October, the police were driving past and actually spotted the old man's car on the side of the road. So they went over to investigate and they actually seen Russell asleep in the back seat of the car. He didn't put up much of a fight and he actually admitted straight away tell the police that it was him that killed these people. He went to court, he admitted to it, um, but he, he pled not guilty to the rape, which he went on trial for. And obviously he was found guilty of the rape because of all the evidence that there was. So on the 11th of March, 2022, he was handed a whole life sentence, which he rightly deserved because no man who's done that amount of crimes deserves to walk the streets again. He was given life without the possibility of parole so he'll never walk the streets again. But I'll be uploading more videos soon of people serving whole life sentences. I'm going to try and get through the whole lot. There's a hundred to get through, but I'll get through the 70 odd that are still alive and serving the sentence today. But if you are liking the content, people, remember to like and subscribe. Take care.